This is the Joe Neely Show. I'm Joe Neely from JoeNeely.net, and I mention my name a lot of times there. <laughs> if you've learned anything about my personality so far, it's that I love to talk. And I like to talk about myself. But that's not why I made this show. I made this show for you. I have tons of ideas, inspirations, tips, techniques, all kinds of things to share with you. But I want to know what is right for you. The first, very first thing I wanted to get out in the open was who Joe Neely is. Joe Neely loves to talk. If there's anything all of my friends and acquaintances <laughs> could tell you, it's that I love to talk. So, in this show, I'm keeping to short segments in which I briefly, very briefly, just throw out the new ideas that I have today. Your job is to contribute. As I said in the first segment, your job is to let me know which ones you like the best, and I will flush them out into video and PDF lessons, maybe even into whole deep, detailed lesson segments in the Starlight Academy. So, what I should tell you about next is what is Starlight? I'm going to talk about that a lot. And in a nutshell, Starlight is Satori, S-A-T-O-R-I. It's a Buddhist term that means the minor leagues of enlightenment, a brief glimpse of enlightenment. I've had a few growing number of these experiences in my life going back decades. Um, you certainly don't have to wait till any point in your life to have them. You just have to trigger them the right way. So, these brief glimpses of enlightenment may come as a visual experience of light. As Buddhists and fundamentalist Christians say, they've seen the light. I've seen it. We can talk about that more later. But also, it can come out as spontaneous laughter. In fact, it can come out in a whole bunch of other ways. I know the ones I've experienced, and I've studied a little bit of spirituality to understand what's going on. And my goal on this show is to combine perspectives from science and psychology and biology and what have you with spirituality. I don't take sides in that argument. You will not succeed if you try to get me to take a side. What I like to do is use the language of science and the language of spirituality to examine the unknown. I'm not going to debate the unknown with you. I'm just going to examine it. And the coolest, most mysterious unknown experiences I've had in my life, those I call starlight. Like I said, they often look like a visual experience of light. I've heard about different people from different spiritual traditions experiencing that. But you can experience it in a bunch of ways. I've experienced it both as light and as laughter, so I'm sure there must be other ways. Comment below if you want to hear more about this, which is the core teaching of what I do. Trying to get myself and you and as many other people as possible to have these experiences. Because they're fun, they're intriguing, and they make life worth living. There's nothing more exciting <laughs> than exploring the very nature of this reality that we're in for a short time. So that's it. A little bit about Starlight, a little bit about me. Comment below if you want to hear more about this. And let's face it, this is a core teaching. You're going to hear more about this one. <laughs> so onward to segment three.